His main assignment is to stop with God trying to release. Anytime God is getting ready to do something supernatural. Come on, somebody. See, see, we 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 heard that song and, and, and he told you, well, Satan have literally tapped into your future. No, 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 no. Satan can't tap into your future. Because if he would have been able to tap into Amen, the future, he would have knew that Joe would have been great. It didn't matter what he put on show. If he would have been able to tap into the future, y'all know y'all y'all listen to that song and, and y'all are saying a little attempt into your future and know that that was a lie. God would never let the enemy tap into your future to know what God's about to do. So if that was the case, he would have known that it didn't matter what you put on Joe. He wasn't gonna let that to stop it. Cause Joe said that yet came out into the way. And that yet shall return to the Lord. Give it in the Lord and takes it in the way. So he didn't live to tap into his future. God will permit something. He will allow something to happen. Because Job said, I tried to touch it, but I couldn't. Because you got him heads. He said, if you move the heads, I call him the question to you. If you move the head, I can get to him. And some of you, the reason why he can't touch some of you, because God got your head. If he do touch you, it's because God knows that when he builds in you, he can go through it. He already knows. Whatever he builds, see God. See, God will never build nothing in nothing that he got to test it, product. When you're a product of God, he got to test it. And God knows that when he built in you, it can pass the test. Of it. And he already knows when he put in Job, that Job will have to go through what he had to go through. It didn't matter what he put in. He knew it. He put no on it. But you're not able to cry. I wish someone would give God the praise. He knew it. That Joe was not going to break on the prince. No matter what he put on. So he came, he, he would permit that. He would allow it to come. Just to see. Come on, say, how much you can Because he got to know if he invests something in something, he got to know if he invests it. He don't waste time with investing with him. And when, you know what get us hurt a lot of times? Because the, the, we invest too much in people. Yeah. And they don't value the investment with somebody. Yeah. Got break, so you put time with them, investing in them, partnering them, training them up, raising them up, equipping them. That's investing. I got to they take time to invest. You don't come on somebody. You keep on putting money in the bank. You keep on you keep on investing. You keep on living. Come pretty soon. You're looking for a return. And when the man got preaching, he had part of speaking over your life. You looking for something in return. God got in return. He wanna see you moving and functioning in the things of God. He wanna see you operating with authority and power, with the anointing. That's why he had part of That's why he invested. He invested in DNA. He invested in time in him. And he wanna see you. That you're gonna reproduce after your own time. Oh, you took out the praise and put it out. Investment is necessary. You can't have nothing in life and see it in a, in a bondage way if you're not invested. Sometimes we invest in the wrong people and it becomes a waste. Come on, somebody, because they're not trying to be sorry. Not trying to be daughters. That's it. Come on, someone. And then inherited it so from your sons. Yeah. And your sons have yep. yeah. uh, yeah. got ten minutes. I'll be done. Ten minutes. I'll be done. Ten minutes. I'll be done. 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 I'll be what are, what are the signs of witchcraft operating and entering the church is an is, is an ability of the people obeying the truth? Let me say that again. One of the signs of witchcraft operating and infiltrating a church is the, uh, the inability of the people to obey the truth. It's hard for them to disobey the truth. <laughs> Why? Disobedience and rebellion is always present where there is witchcraft. Let me say it again. Disobedience and rebellion 
has always, not sometimes, but always present. Come on, somebody. Where that is witchcraft. People can't start off obeying the truth. And then invent, and then eventually they start in that. And watch what he said here in Galatians. He said, Oh foolish. Three. I don't blame you. See, you don't like to be called. <laughs> See, Jesus called people what they were. Preacher, he didn't play with you. John called you what you were. He said, You're right. He said, You're here with mankind. He said, You're snakes. See, they just called people what they were. Jesus said, You're dog. He didn't fix it up. And see, sometimes you want stuff just fixed up for you. Just tell me. Just want, want, want it to be padded to you. No, just tell me. You can't pad devils. You got to pad devils out. You got too many people padding devils. You're the devil laughing at you. Get, you got to get us a type of authority. When you're dealing with demonic spirits, yes, can't that's all your preacher trying to do is equip you. Yes, it is. It get you ready for what's about to happen in the next six months. Yeah. What's getting ready to happen on the mirror? Equip me. Amen. All this stuff. Amen. Don't you think this is the beginning of sorrow? Amen. Somebody say, all this is the beginning of sorrow. Y'all miss today. Earthquakes and devil places, places you never thought. Come on. Man, we are approaching the end time. Jesus is yet to come. Oh, it's no time to be out here messing around. It's time to position yourself oh, and make sure you got yourself together in there. I want somebody. I know you want to be rich. You want to be famous, but make sure you got your yourself together in your heart. Make sure your spirit is right. Make sure that if you fall dead right now, that Amen. We can preach your spirit that you had it right when you left. I have to be up in here. I want to make sure when He called my role, when everything was all right in my spirit. If that ain't your focus point. Sunday's going on. Watch what he said there. I mean, he said, oh fool. Because you know what he said? He said, I got everything. I got my body. I got my house. I got everything. Watch what he said. He said, oh fool. He said, your soul is required of you this day. Because he said, I got all this stuff, but he got a soul that was lost. And what profits a man to gain the whole wide world and lose his soul? Stop preaching to your soul tonight. That profit you to gain the whole wide world and lose your soul. Now, what would you get with a chain for your soul? That's a good word right there. It's the soul. It's about your soul, man. Don't let nothing spill over in your soul. Don't let that self get in your soul. If it get in your mind, get it out your mind quick. Because it's hard to get stuff out when it's getting in your heart. Because with the heart made up with somebody, you got to get it out. When that devil put that thought in your mind, rebuke it. Don't let them thoughts enter into your heart. Because when they get in your heart, it's hard to get stuff out of your heart. When you let your heart become contaminated. Out of the bondage of the heart. The mouth speaks. The mouth is going to speak. You got a lot of mind preachers. But I'm a hard preacher. Because it ain't your mind he saved. He saved your heart. I need some preachers who tell people, listen here. God want to save your soul. And quit playing with your soul. Because one day your soul is going to stand before God. He said, all souls is mine. The soul that sinned with somebody and the soul that should should have died. That's what they say. I ain't about to lose my soul. I can lose my house. I can lose my car. But I ain't about to lose my soul ever. I've been working too hard to keep my soul right. I've been working too hard to keep my soul pure. I've been working too hard to keep my soul clean. I ain't about to lose my soul. Ain't dying going to hell. You can get body back. You can get car back. You can get free and back. But once you lose your soul, you can't never get it back. You got to bear with that soul. soul clean. Yeah. Keep that soul to a place. Yeah. And when he come back, because he ain't come back for your body. He coming back for the
their soul. If their soul has got wrinkles in it, if their soul got blemishes in it, you come back for a church without spots, with some without wrinkles. See, when you got wrinkles in your clothes, you got to keep on hiding it. You keep on hiding it until you get the wrinkles out. And what this word do? Keep on hiding it. It's out of your heart. It's out of your mind. It's out of things in your life until you get the wrinkles out. And when the wrinkles is out, come on, you can see the world. What you see when the wrinkles out, you can see the flip. You see it just a smooth. And when God gets his spirit and soul smooth, you're know, ready to get caught. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody yeah. Yeah. They put some blessings. They put some houses. They put some lands. They give you your false sense of security. But all that ain't no matter when he gets out of the car. Because you can't take none of that stuff to heaven with you. I want somebody to give God the praise. You better not get caught up in this world. He said, be not conformed to this world. But be transformed by the renewing of your body. Thanks to God. It's about to be a great work in one day. I stop out and tell you. I ain't preaching all this hard. And let the devil call me to go to hell now. I'm gonna keep preaching to let you know that holiness is still right. To let you know that you're not 